All right, so today Grandma and me are gonna make some Krusty's, I don't know how you say it, Krusty, <laughs> Krusty's cookies, Krusty's pumpkin spice cookies. I should just say Krusty's because it sounds funny. Okay, and here's the recipe. We got one pouch of bread mix that comes with it, um, a third of a cup of butter softened, two eggs, three tablespoons of water and milk, three tablespoons of all-purpose flour, one half cup of chocolate chips or chunks, and one packet of pecans that are enclosed. This video is brought to you today by Blazing Hog 4G LTE. Get blazing fast internet speeds up to 150 megabits per second. You get $49.99 off when you use the code and the phone number in the description of this video or the code right below my finger here, the coupon code. It works anywhere, rain or shine, within five miles of an AT&T or T-Mobile cell tower. Check it out. All you have to do is call 1-888-306-7062 and mention account number SR2808 when you call or Call or email me directly with your service name and address and contact information like a telephone number and an email address. Now enjoy the rest of this video. That's an order, son. Okay, so we're going to get started here. I should put this over here so you guys don't have to look at it. All right. So the first thing it says to do is to dump this in the mixing bowl. One big thing. You think you can do that, Grandma? You don't know. Well, here, let me get it open. I'm going to cut it open with some scissors. The first thing we do is make sure our hands are clean before we get started with any of this. We'll wash our hands. All right. Oh, oops, I was supposed to let you do this. Here. You. Now, don't trip on that leg down there. Yeah. See if you can put that in the bowl. In yeah. See if you can. Oh, I doubt I can. Oh, I think you can. This whole thing goes in there. There we go. Now let's see what's next. It says one half cup, I'll handle that one, one third a cup of butter. Now, my butter is frozen in the refrigerator, at least it's solid. And the thing is, is that there's this stuff called extra virgin olive oil. And extra virgin olive oil is supposed to be really good for uh, preventing uh, head diseases and things like that, help your brain and all that. So we're gonna put in a third a cup of this extra virgin olive oil instead of the butter. The other thing is, is this is supposed to be a lot better for you than butter. So, put that away. Let's see what the next thing is. Get all that out of there. Um, the next thing is two eggs. You know what I think we're going to do? I think we'll do what Grandma taught us to do here. We're going to take these two eggs and we're going to put them in another bowl first to make sure that they're not bad because sometimes when you crack your eggs and open them they're bad and then you ruin everything so I'm gonna get a bigger bigger bowl and I'm gonna let grandma crack you, you know how to crack eggs you don't want to do it okay I'll do it I thought I thought maybe you could do it for me and sh show me how because I get I, well I get shell in I get shell in there when I do it okay all right, here's an egg. Do one at a time and let's see if they're any good. Watch that, there you go, you trip on there. So, you get them in there. I'm all shaking. Yeah, you gotta pull it apart. There you go. Good job. That was one. I now, we'll dump that one in there. We'll scramble it up, put it in there, and then we'll do another one. You so, know how to do it well, I, I can't do it that well. I, I make eggs every day and I get, I get stuff in there. I get shell in there with it, so. I probably should have you do the other one too. Here, well, here's the other one. Then you gotta wash your hands. There you go. Good job. All right, and then what I'm gonna do, yeah, have you wash your hands there. You got this soap, you gotta use the soap. You can't, you gotta put it on your hands, see? Otherwise it doesn't, there you go. Uh, soap when you wash your hands. I'll wash mine and I think then. I haven't washed my hands. 
well no but you got we got to have soap on them all right so once we're done with that okay i need to wash mine can i get around you oh yes thank you watch out don't trip there you go okay well that's burning hot Okay, here we go. We, we got some eggs here. Put them both in. They're both good eggs. And so our next step is two tablespoons of water or milk. Or I'm sorry, three tablespoons. And we have here a tablespoon measuring device. So I'm just going to get some water and fill it up three times and dump it in. It can be water or milk, whatever floats your boat. Okay, that was three tablespoons of water. The next thing is we need uh, three tablespoons of flour. So I need you to put this in there, Grandma. I need you to put that in there. I got a spoon if you need to dig it out. But see if you can just pour that whole bowl. Watch your foot there. Pour that whole bowl into the dish just there. Plonk yeah, if you can. Oh. See if it'll all come out. If it won't come out, you're gonna have to use the spoon. Did it all? Oh, you're gonna have to. Uh, just, Here, just use the that. spoon. It all come out there. There we go. Good job. Now let's see. We got that's the flour. We got uh, uh, chocolate chips here. Here, see, you can dump those in. Chocolate chips. It's now they call for a half a cup. The last time I made these, I didn't have the directions that are there, so I just put a cup in. You want this? Yeah, we need to pour it all in there. We're gonna mix it. We're gonna turn the mixer on and mix it. We gotta pour it in. You want I don't You gotta turn over? it just anywhere. It's no. gonna get mixed in. So just let them out. There you go. Okay. And then it says the last thing is we're supposed to open this uh, this package of pecans that are included in our box. Got it like there's four of these or so. I didn't even know these were in there. Because the last box I had of these these didn't seem to be in there. So there's something. You want to see them? Uh, yeah. There oh, they go. Yeah. They're the nuts. Now you might be allergic to nuts, so you know you might need to check with your doctor first. They they said on the television that, uh, or somewhere I read that the reason that there's not very many allergies in Israel is because they start their kids out eating nuts early, and for whatever reason that helps prevent uh, the disease. I'm going to put these in here and we'll turn the mixer on. So I'm going to put, put these over here. Perfect. Now what we're going to do is we're going to turn this on. going to make sure it's turned down first. And oh, it's got to be plugged in. Fly all over. Appliances have this real problem of not working when they're not plugged in. So we got to make sure okay. before I turn it on that it's plugged in. Otherwise, it won't work. Now, let's turn it on. I've got it set to low speed. There it goes. Where's my spoon? Now, you don't want to get your spoon in your beaters. You could get in big trouble there. You could break something or break yourself. Don't get your hands or anything down in there while it's going. Okay? So, I'm going to I'm gonna kind of stir this a little bit. Have problems. Because now I'm serious about my safety. Okay. And... Well, they want to just come out. They're not locked in for some reason. So. I know. I was thinking if you stirred that on the bottom, is it a little bit, maybe get a little more water out of it. Yeah, well, the eggs got mixed in, and so did the three tablespoons of water and all that uh, that uh, vegetable oil. Uh -huh. And that's all it's supposed to have in it. I mean, if I wanted to mix better, I could add more water, but if I did, it would ruin the wood. They won't come out right in the oven. We gotta make sure to set our oven to 350 yeah, degrees. Stir it, it'll probably with your... Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit bake. We'll make sure nothing's in here. Oh yeah, you gotta make sure nothing's in the in the oven first. Now we need to move one of our baking racks down so that they're closer together. So it starts even. And uh, well, I don't know how that's gonna work, but we'll do it. And 
bake 350 start oven light on so we can see what's going on that makes things safer okay so now we're gonna have you put cooking oil on these sheets so you need to come over here I'm gonna put a little bit of oil in this dish there we go and then what you're gonna do you taught me how to do this is you yep you did you take this paper towel okay and you dab it in a little bit of the oil and you just spread it around on these sheets okay and oh, once, on that. Yeah, on these two sheets. So you, the oil's here. Yeah, and you sheet. just dip some, yeah, you dip some of that in there and spread it around. That's how you taught me to do it. Can't even you just get it soaked up and then you spread it around. The whole yep. Thing. And then the next thing we'll do is we're going to put the cookies on the cookie sheet the, with the thick, thick cookie dough. And it says to cook it for, or bake it at 350 degrees for uh, 14 to 16 minutes and let it cool before removing from the pan makes 14 cookies so according to all this we're only supposed to have 14 cookies when we're done we'll see i don't even know how much i put on it well you just dip it in the thing and spread it all around let's take a look at it yeah. here let me let me inspect it here it just went so okay easy on well it's supposed to yeah. it's oil well it it feels oily, but it, I don't know. Let me uh, get some more here. This is how Grandma taught me to do it. Grandma Jardy here. Okay, I think, I think that one is, yeah, it's coated. So now I just have to do the other one here. Let me... They felt like they were, but I couldn't see it. I know, I can't either. Here you go. You ready? There, just spread it out on that one. Okay, but don't sweep it up with the bottom part. You don't get your don't get your sleeve in it. I know. There you go. You gotta hold on to the bottom. There you go. All the way down. There you go. Now I'm ready to put the cookies Sorry, on. Do you think you're okay? Yep, I'm okay. You can throw that away. I'll go put the I'll put the cookies on. Okay, so they say to make them in about a two inch ball, or whatever. I don't know about all that, in but a two inch ball. That's what they're saying. It says in the instructions to make each one of these a two inch ball on the cookie sheet. Oh. So that's what we'll do. Okay. There's one. And since they don't stick to the cookie sheet, it's kind of hard to get them to stay put. Um, this one's too just big. So they don't go off of the cookie sheet. That is correct. And so, there we go. There's another one. Now, see, these are going to want to spread out. So I think that's why they only want 14 of them. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We probably do nine per, per sheet. And since nine plus nine makes 18, there should be enough room for all of them. Better to spread them out than to have them too close together. And since we have enough sheets to do that, that should not be an issue. Let's see, this is a little bit too much on here, I think. It's gonna spread out too far. It's okay if they're not uniform and they're all different shapes. I mean, if you're making them for yourself, it really doesn't matter. If you're making them professionally for somebody else and they care, well, then it does matter, doesn't it? But if you're just doing it at home and you don't care, as long as you don't catch your oven on fire or your cookies on fire. So. Well, the thing is, you don't know how big they're going to get. That's right. They could sneak up on you. You'd never know it. Oh, you're sitting there, all of a sudden the cookies could come out of the oven and they could start attacking you and chasing you around. Don't want that.
Okay, that's nine of them. So now, we move on to the other one. I'm going to move it over because it'll make it easier for me to, to do this. Get some more snot out of here, some more cement, more plaster here. So the question is, did it make the 14 cookies advertised? Well, we got nine over here, right? We got nine over here, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So I, I guess I might have made them a little too small. Now we can't just lick off the spoon because it's got eggs on it. So that could be dangerous to our health. So we're going to have to wash the, wash the spoon. I'll just put the rest of the oil on the sheet there and let it spread out and do whatever it wants to do. And uh, the easiest part, easiest part about this for me is I don't have to wash anything because Grandma likes to wash everything. So I just put this in the, the sink here. And uh, there we go. All right, I'm going to put this back down. Put it over in the corner, and we're going to be putting these in the oven as soon as the oven is ready. Just so we don't hear and it, it. And the oven is just about ready. It says 329, 330. It's getting there. All right, we have retrieved 350, and it says it's supposed to cook for 14 to 16 minutes, so let's put them in there without burning ourselves. Do not burn yourself. 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 There. Now we get a timer. And then we'll set this for at least 15 minutes. I mean, we can check them, but we'll just let that go. And we'll come back and check it out. All right. Uh, let's check these out. Okay, let's see here. Well, you know, they do kind of look like the picture, these cookies do, so we must have done it right this time. They don't look like they did last time. Um, we're gonna wanna poke them to see if they're done. So we'll get a poker stick here. How long have they been in there? They've been in there as long as the direction said. I put them in for about, I said 14 to 16 minutes, I put them for 15. Oh. Okay, I got my poker stick here to find out if they're done. Grandma taught me this. She taught me how to how to find out if these are done. So you poke it down in there and see if it sticks. Mm -hmm. They don't stick, so they're these ones are done. I'm gonna get them out of here before they burn me because they're really hot. I gotta change pot holders again. These are hot enough on the outside to burn me right now. So let's pull these out and see if they're done. Do the grandma test. Oh yeah, they meet they meet grandma's standards of excellence and quality service. So let me see here. I gotta get I think what I'm gonna do, because these are so hot, is I think I'm just gonna leave the oven open, let the heat come into the house because it's winter time. And I am going to slide the other ones off onto the stuff first because I don't have enough room really to play with two of these at once. So let me get my camera moved. So you guys can watch them come off the assembly line. Let's see here, where is it? Come on. Get out of here. I should have just, I know what I should have done now. My tripod is too big for what I'm doing. Okay, I like it though. I like this tripod. Okay, I'm going to go over here. Like this. Perfect. Okay, let's go get these off of there. I need to get a spatula. I'll just grab the big one. This is one someone sent me for free. Oh. Yeah, so here's a spatula someone sent me for free to review. I actually really like this spatula for cooking eggs because it's it gets under everything. Pancakes. It's a good deal. So These are really gooey, I'll tell you that. Um, I don't know if they're going to stick together. Getting awful hot in my hands here. 
But yeah, they do actually kind of look like the pictures, which is surprising. I was actually wondering about that, but that just tells me that before I did it the wrong way. But this time, Grandma did most of the work, so now they turned out right. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so let's put this one away. We'll grab the next one. Right, so let's see, I get to change my gloves here, and, uh, okay, so I'm going to put more of this out here. How long was that? Uh, they said 14 to 15 minutes. This pan is really hot. It's getting right through my gloves. I can't hold this much longer. Let me grab the other glove. It's a good thing I've got two pairs of gloves for this because these are hard to hold very long. All right, now what we have to do, it's a requirement, is we have to have, gra Grandma, can you sit in the chair by the cookies for a minute? I need you to check something for me. Oh. Yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to get one of the fresh baked cookies here, and I'll split it in half, and I need you to try it and see if it's any good. Now they're warm. I'm going to try one. What's it taste like? Well, I don't know. It tastes good. It tastes good? Mm-hmm. What does yours taste like? I think they taste pretty good. They don't taste too sweet. Could have put, could have put more chocolate chips in, but I don't think it's necessary. They taste as advertised, and I ain't eat another one. Those are really good. They're... Kind of brown on the bottom, but on the top they're really good. Mm -hmm. Everything turned out all right. No grandmas were harmed in the making of this video. Sticky. All right, well, thank you so much for watching the video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. May Jesus bless you. Please click the links in the description of our video. Consider going to our Patreon or GoFundMe. Check out ChristianCourts.com. Okay. And all other great stuff. We've got the Blazing Hog Internet. we got free internet, which is great, from Blazing Hog. And uh, check out How to Win in Court, How to Build a Moped. I'll tell you, this March, uh, this spring is coming. And if you want to get out and do something with your son or or whatever you want a fun project, go to howtobuildamoped.com, get started, check out those links there. All right. Bye. Subscriber Bunny agrees that 4K video is good for you. It's good for your health. So make sure to subscribe, like, comment, share, subscribe. We just bless you. Please check out ChristianCourts.com and HowToBuildAMoped.com and all those other affiliate links and great things in my GoFundMe. All right. Bye.